going on, Hood Nation? It's your drunk at best. We're checking out the new Death Battle. It is here. Android 18 versus Captain Marvel. My heart is racing just to kind of see what happens here. There's been a lot of debate over who's going to take who. And there's a lot of just back and forth, back and forth. Um, if you guys have seen the original, definitely go ahead and do so. Full screen to tell you that my blabbing and yabbing because Nitch here is not shut up. I'm probably going to be screaming, jumping out of my chair. And before we start this, I just want to let everybody know that as salty or butthurt I may be or not be during this, don't take it offensive. It's just I'm very passionate about DBZ because I am a DBZ tard. But I also do like Marvel 2 a lot. In fact, I have over thousands of dollars. I used to play the Versus system card game and collect a ton of stuff too. I, I Actually, I want to see what uh, information they present. So... Let's see how they did their research. That's going to be a very big important thing for me to accept this outcome. Three, two, one, go. If you guys haven't, uh, you sign up on their website like I did. This is how I'm able to actually watch it today. It's not even Wednesday yet, but I'm going to respectfully know, release it on woman. Wednesday. Even better, one that keeps getting oh, stronger and geez. stronger. Kill Bill. And today we've got two of them. Woo! Android 18, the deadly cyborg killer from Dragon Ball. And Cat. Captain Marvel, the hard-hitting, high-flying Avenger. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Oh, we're going for some of that bit action. Okay. It's going to look In nice, the though. 763, peace had returned to the Earth. <laughs> Unsung heroes led by the dinosaurs Sam walking Goku around people. had saved the world <laughs> from an evil galactic tyrant. Everything seemed pretty hunky-dory until a mysterious time traveler showed up out of nowhere with a grave warning. In just three years' time, two deadly androids would rise up and ravage the Earth, all while wearing the mark of the long-forgotten Red Ribbon Army. This sounds like it's gonna get complicated real fast. <laughs> to be brief, the Red Ribbon Army was the greatest military force ever known, even greater than the Earth's entire armed forces combined. Yep. Until a tiny monkey child named <laughs> Goku strolled through and wrecked their shit. Dr. Jiro, founder and lead scientist of the Red Ribbon Army, held a grudge against Goku for over 20 years. Straight. Like any mad scientist oh, hell-bent oh, on revenge, oh, oh, the good oh. doctor got back to doing what he did best. Building murder bots! And so he designed some of his deadliest creations to date, Android 17 and Android 18. Oh, so man. Android <laughs> isn't entirely accurate. Cyborgs, right? 17 and 18 <laughs> were actually humans once, siblings even. So that makes them cyborgs, not androids. You'd think a doctor with Giro's prestige would know the difference. Nah. I'll just chalk it up to a classic case of revenge madness. That <laughs> eh, happens to the best of us. Android 18's real right. name Let's is Lazuli, which Lazuli. sounds like some sort of Italian pasta dish. No wonder she kept the name 18 after brutally murdering her maker. <laughs> yeah, Android 18 and her brother were pretty unruly and a force to be reckoned with. Jiro, even with his own cyborg body, didn't stand a chance. With nothing better to do, the twins <laughs> set off to ravage the world as predicted. But this time, uh, something changed. Yeah. After witnessing the compassion of the heroes, including a bald, vertically challenged martial artist named Grillin, 18 had a change of heart and joined the good guys. She even wound up starting a family with Krillin. <laughs> nice! Give it up for Krillin! Yeah. Not only is he punching above his bracket, but he's laying pipe above it as well. <laughs> Plus, 18 doesn't really age, so that's a serious win. Android 18 is an extremely competitive fighter with numerous deadly <laughs> abilities. I do Jiro's wish, though, that they would have waited for uh, Super to end first, though. Granting her incredible hand-to-hand -hand combat skills and mechanically enhanced senses for superb situational awareness. And she's got the strength to back it up. This chick can embed a person straight into the side of a cliff with a single smack or shoot explosions out of her hands. She does this by harnessing Ki, a Taoist-inspired life force energy manifested through a person's spirit and vigor. Jesus. With her key, how to 18 do that. can fire a barrage of energy beams powerful enough to destroy buildings, continents, possibly even planets. Like the well, finger they beam. acknowledge it, possibly <laughs> planets, finger but they're not. Actually, right? they're not acknowledging. Oh. oh, you know you left. Absolutely not. <laughs> On the inside, possibly. Uh, Android 18 <laughs> has dozens of other techniques, such as infinity bullets. I know what you're thinking, but it's not a magic gun with unlimited ammo. It's a stampede she did learn of energy blasts, which are nearly impossible to avoid. 
Her photon strike lays waste to a vast area in an instant. She can even use her husband's signature technique, the Destructo Disc. It's a buzzsaw made of pure energy. Why don't more Dragon Ball characters use that thing? <laughs> he is just as much a defensive tool as well. Android 18 can enhance her strength, speed, and endurance with her energy, greatly surpassing the limitations of her physical body. Oh yeah, and she can fly! Unlike most warriors, 18's <laughs> energy supply stems from a sort of battery within. This system grants her a continuous and potentially endless so she supply has no, of heat. Yeah. She'll never get no tuckered out. No stamina. In fact, one of her out. favorite combat strategies is wasting time to make her enemy exhausted, yep. then moving in to finish him off. Yep. She's yep. making him burn up all his energy, and then she's going to attack him. Like many of Dr. Giro's other androids, it's <laughs> even possible for 18 to steal her foe's energy for herself oh, by absorbing it through her body. They're giving it to her! her. And nullifying her opponent. So you can bet she'll always go That's the distance. That's not canon, like though. Rocky That's the video Bobo game. Some, you know, way stronger and I don't way know, is that even fair? 18 is I tough know they enough did to it deflect all their Goku's games, attack, even while he's in Super Saiyan Blue form. Okay. Also, she can kick hard enough to break Super Saiyan Vegeta's arm. What's so impressive about breaking They did arm? mention the blue Kamehameha as a flushed blunt shrunk, yeah, shrunk sword. Uh -huh. Who survived the planet bus? They the did! Super they Saiyan must have been reading Saiyan. comments or doing Vegeta's some good research. extremely high key levels improve his body to support an impressive amount of weight. Leading up to the fight, Vegeta was training in 450 times gravity, making right. his weight about 55,000 pounds. Oh. That means the tibia in his leg would be supporting over 40,000 pounds, the Jesus. equivalent of eight pickup trucks. Damn, I wish I had bones like that. I could fire so many, but I would never have to worry about falling down. On top of that, she's able to use her constant supply of ki to easily match the speed of a Super Saiyan. We've previously times, established yeah. that an ascended Super Saiyan can fly approximately 340,000 miles oh, per hour. Wait. So it's reasonable to believe 18 can do the same. Man, this key stuff uh, is seriously they awesome. They did go back to Snake Maybe Way, I should though. Start ah, they should use Namek with Goku. Do you even know how? Yeah, all I gotta but, do oh, is well. get drunk and sit on the floor crisscross applesauce style, right? <laughs> Easy. <laughs> sure. Anyway, just like Vegeta, Android 18's key allows her to survive serious blows. She's even tanked the full brunt of a what Super is? Saiyan key blast, capable of obliterating an planet. entire building without a scratch. What? Can't say the same for that Bad sweet thing ass would destroy a planet. Man, 18 is awesome. Awesome? Yes. Unstoppable? Not at all. Android 18 is unfortunately susceptible to a number of weaknesses, including her own programming. Fearing her unruliness, Jiro designed her with a remote shutdown system in place, Ooh. one that both he and Krillin's friend Bulma were able to exploit. Wow, so this little thing will stop them, huh? On top of that, <laughs> 18 has a reputation of being cold and apathetic. Although this is mostly just a guise, as she's always ready to defend her friends and family from threats. She even joined Goku, the man she was originally she programmed the GT? to kill for an interdimensional tournament bent on saving the universe from annihilation. See, it's I, safe to say the Super gotta, Saiyan they are not waited. the only blondes protecting the planet. <laughs> Believe me, when she gets that look in her eye, you better hold on to your Dragon Balls. <laughs> it's time to put an end to this game, don't you think? Oh, let's see what Captain Marvel's Captain gonna do. Captain Marvel has had many names in her career, but when she was born, she, she was simply Super Saiyan Carol with her binary. Carol grew up in Boston and joined the Air Force to pay for college. She quickly flew to the top Chewy. of their ranks <laughs> before moving on to the Air Force Intelligence. Then she joined NASA. Damn, Man. is her superpower just having really badass jobs? Wonder if she could give me a recommendation. Working at NASA was pretty cool until aliens attacked. Man. Carol got caught in the middle of a massive battle between the Kree aliens and a Kree superhero named Marvel, known to the world as Captain Marvel. Well, wait. <laughs> Captain Marvel's secret identity is Marvel. Somebody forgot to read superheroes <laughs> for dummies. Anyway, <laughs> during the battle, Carol got stuck in a machine called the Psych Magnetron, which exploded. Luckily for her, this was one of those explosions that turns you into a superhero. The energy from the blast merged Carol's DNA with strands of Marvel's. She developed an extra Kree brain lobe and gained Jesus. most of Marvel's powers, transforming her so into a new dynamic superheroine. 
uh, Except she didn't uh, even realize it at first. Stuff like She'd that. just black out at random times and wake up to hear about a new suspiciously blonde superhero. Hey, Wiz, maybe I have a superhero side like this. I mean, I black out all the time. Dun, 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 Boomstick, dun. you don't have powers. You have a problem. Oh. Through her adventures, Carol went through several phases of superhero titles. First Miss Marvel, then Binary, then Warbird, then Miss Marvel again, until one day, Marvel died. Here's to you, Marvel. To honor her fallen friend, Carol Danvers took up his mantle, becoming the brand yeah. new Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel is unbelievably powerful, with superhuman strength and incredible durability. She learned how to fly planes in the Air Force, but now she could fly yeah, she herself. Too. And super fast. Binary form. Speaking of yep, which, power through her time with the Air Force and energy. as a member of the so Avengers, they're giving it to her. she's received years of quality combat training. Not only can she Whoa. hit hard, she can fire powerful concussive blasts of photon and stellar light energy from her hands, as well as create energy fields. As if all that weren't enough, Carol can open up an extra can of whoop ass by absorbing energy. Absorbing anything from electricity to magic can make her even stronger. With these powers, Captain Marvel has done some pretty amazing things. Damn, While damn. training with the Avengers, the combat simulation measured that she could deliver a force of 92 tons. Whoa. Almost 10 times the destructive power of a Davy Crockett nuclear missile. She can survive energy blasts to the face and I'm even Iron the Man vacuum of space armor. for a long period of time. Survive Once she this. flew from the Broadway Vision to Traveler the end of the atmosphere in, in only a minute and 58 seconds. That's a lot of ground, uh, sky to cover in less than two minutes. She claims that's her yeah, personal record. But now, that ain't shit, though. The distance between a that's New only 3,000. the exosphere, Marvel must have been flying 247 times faster than yep. the speed of sound. Carol has taken out characters like Vision, punched Iron Man out of his armor, and even survived two point-blank blasts from the Destructor's beam, which has uh. enough power to punch holes through an Imperial Kree starship. And that's not even the height of her power. If Marvel absorbs enough energy, she can access the oh, powers shit. of binary, a form she took after losing her powers, getting lost in space, and being experimented on by aliens. Long story. As binary, she can tap into oh. the power of a white hole and generate star levels of energy. And her hair's on fire. Were you Let's even listening? It's like the least interesting thing about it. Excuse <laughs> you. Look at it. Binary was an extremely powerful form, capable of wiping out entire fleets of enemy ships. Yeah, she but gets one that, that form. Captain Marvel does not but, have easy access to. Yeah. She initially lost the form after expending all of its energy, and is unable to reach it again it without absorbing either, a massive so. amount of interstellar energy, such as the infinite energy from a gravitational field of a black hole singularity. She's too stubborn to just give up, though. She's stubborn to a fault, even rushing headlong into situations while ignoring advice from wiser, more experienced friends. <laughs> like the time she started a civil war between superheroes, or when she completely ignored her damaging addiction to alcohol. Yep. She got hold out. Ah, yeah, Carol is a badass with a hell of a lot of power. But if Damn. Tony Stark of all people thinks you have a drinking problem, you should probably listen to him instead of trying to fly into space while completely <laughs> wasted. <laughs> yeah. Regardless, Don't Captain drink and fly, Marvel kids. is a seasoned hero with a record that most would be envious of. Hell, she's such a pillar, she's named after the publishing company itself. Good point, good point. Ooh. Anybody else? Boom. Alright. All right, the combatants are So set. as long as 18's not dumb enough to feed her energy, should be all right. It's time for a death battle! But they, they, they got the speed wrong, though, with 18, so we'll have to let that slide. Her combat speed is easily two times the speed of, like, minimally, because they said Vegeta fights at that speed against Shadow. That was their own words, so they didn't give her that. She found a Dragon Ball! <laughs> Get back. This oh, orb is coming with me. Give me a break, lady. I've been looking for that thing all day. Oh. Don't make me hurt you. Yeah, good luck with that. Oh, here we go. Woo. Bam. Oh. 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 Get that shit out of here. 
Damn. That's kind of what it really would look like. You really wouldn't see anything. This is, all this is just for our viewing pleasure. Oh. Oh. Ow, ow, ow. Bam, bam. That's exactly right there. That's all you would see. <laughs> oh! Oh, girl! Even that's kind of low for you to do that. <laughs> what a pass. No fair. That's playing dirty. Exactly. Time to clean up that. Oh. There she goes. What? Why she absorbed it? I'll be waiting for the big guns. Oh, they gave it to her. Yep, they did! She got it already? Hell no! Nah, did she just make her white hole? Woo! Oh, she getting beat down by a bunch of rocks? Oh, man. Yep. Oh, no! Why would you not just move? What are you doing? Absorb that, the destructo disc. There's no way she can absorb that. Oh, she's cocky. I think she can absorb it back though, at least according to death battle. Ooh! What? Oh no! I can do it too. Now that they both know, she's got her ass. She's just gotta survive the binary form. Broke her arm! Oh! 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 She fucked her couch! There. I can still. Oh! And that's that. Oh! 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 Who's the girl? Mightiest warriors, but she couldn't stand up to the impressive power, speed, and expertise of eighteen. First off, the numbers don't lie. When it comes to speed, Carol's best record put her in just under 200,000 miles per I said hour. that. I but said that. She could move over 100,000 miles faster. Most apparent of all, she can move Marvel's faster than that, but... and strength feet simply pale in comparison to 18s. The only way Marvel's power could match 18s was to absorb enough but energy to reach the binary. But for 18 to absorb, though, that's but technically... 18 is no stranger to that technique. Yep. There's no doubt she recognized what Carol was doing and stopped feeding her energy. See, I said Even that! if Carol had somehow achieved the full force of binary, she... that wouldn't have guaranteed a win. It's almost Maybe like they the read my post! saw binary in the comics, she was taken down by some alien guns. Guess she's not as good at absorbing energy as she thought. With superior speed, Ugh. strength, tactics, and endurance. This is and a high clap, man. They actually got this very right. Minus the speed. For the kill. She's still faster and than that. And that's why Captain Marvel lost by T.K.O. God, that one was awful. That was terrible. The winner <laughs> is Android 18. <laughs> Boom. Hey, don't go away. We're about to reveal the matchup for the next episode of Death Battle. Oh, and the Marvel people are going to be so pissed. Episode, click that little button over there but I don't blame them. Trial. I would have been upset, too, if my A team would have lost on some level. Metal Sonic! Woo! -hoo! Zero! Oh, my God. Zero is going to destroy Metal Sonic. But I should do research first. But I feel pretty confident that Zero is going to destroy him. Zero is insanely powerful. But... Damn, you guys, that was crazy. I goosebumps all the time. I was jumping all over the place, rooting for my girl 18. So I'm pretty happy that uh, the results came in as I expected them to. But of course, at the end of the day, I think it's still, there's definitely a lot of opinion and a lot of people are going to still disagree with it. When, and that's fine. One thing I will say is her energy absorption really only came from the video game. It's like, I don't think she really ever did it in the anime. I said that at first, and someone's like, no, she can't do that. That's just uh, 18 and, or 19 and 20. But then I, the problem was with my head when I made that statement was I actually grew up playing Dragon Ball Z games as a kid before even the anime. Like, I had Ultimate Battle 22 on PlayStation on the mod chip. I had the Super Nintendo games, and she always could absorb it. So my head was thinking of the video game. I wasn't thinking the anime. I mean, I, I watched it all still as a kid. But you know, it's just so long ago. But I did make that statement that 18 would not be dumb enough about energy absorption. She just would not fall for it. Once she sees 
the power that she's getting. I'm surprised, though, that if she, if she did get her binary, she should have been able to move at speeds of light, though. Which, because uh, she can form a white star or whatever, that white dwarf, white star. But the, pro the problem is, though, if she made that on the planet, it'd probably technically blow up the planet, right? I would think. But anyways, let me know what you guys think. Like always, if this video gets 100 likes and subscribe if you haven't and leave a comment what you like most about it, you will be eligible for shout outs. Everyone that does that, those three steps will get a shout out. Here's you guys' chance to subscribe and join Hood Nation right here. And that's definitely a death battle. Or I'll put their channel right here. I'm going to put the place, get your guys' feet wet, and check out some more Dragon Ball Super or whatever. I'm going to put over here. So but if I need a cup of tea, they'll go find it. It's out there. Believe it. This is Nitch from Drunk FX. And I'm out.